Introduction. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It refers to technology that provides access to information through telecommunication. It is similar to information technology IT, but focused on communication technology. ICT is playing a big role in online and distance learning ODL to meet the requirement and expectation of the learner in a big scale. ICT is the main factor of ODL based in development as an alternative way of learning. It is enabled the educational institute to adapt to the constantly changing environment and the learning procedure with the demands of the international market and the need of the people who want to keep up with the current knowledge of the society and world market. The use of ICT in education or other activity is helpful to the people nowadays. This kind of help may easily and efficient the life of every people around the world. As we can see, the information communication technology become more advanced and easy to use without any problem. Good morning, sir. My name is Vanessa Emilia Anna Roslin. Today, I would like to present my part that is uh, situational analysis. Okay. Online distance learning or ODL system has been used in other country, but today Malaysia also one of the country that use uh, this initiative because of the same problem. Uh, a few years ago, online education was unimaginable, but now it's a really reality grown beyond our imagination. For example, in Malaysia, on the online uh, the online system learning have been easy since the closure of the high school that hits uh, the several states in the peninsula. And now, because of the coronavirus that have spread um, around the world. Uh, the coronavirus have affected the education system around the world. Almost all schools, uh, college and university around the world were closed. Many institutions of education are moving to online distance learning through the platforms such as Google Classroom and Zoom. Online learning has influenced the life of students and teachers. Before this, learning process used face-to-face -face method. That means uh, the students were free to interact with teachers in the work classroom. However, uh, using ODL or, or online distance learning system, uh, students work online while teachers provide work and perform digital inspection. How online distance learning using information technology? To increase students' attention during online learning, teachers can provide them interesting and appropriate material, uh, whether in the video, worksheet, animation, and so on through the internet. Without even information and communication technology, distant online learning is certainly impossible. With the recent development of new technology, it is hoped that computer will play an important role in the online distance learning process. I will explain about before online distance learning. A. Structural method. The structural method is another teaching approach that uses student centered learning strategy. During the structural season, students will receive intensive attention and guidance from the lecturers. Lecturer at college and university often use this method to guide research project, writing workshop, or individual teaching. B. Method of discussion. The method of discussion is an alternative method of teaching that is highlight recommended by teachers regardless of school or college and university. This method is a teaching approach that incorporates many elements of student-centered learning. The use of this method promotes multi-way interaction in the classroom, which is the interaction between student and lecturer and between student and student. C. Differentiated learning method. Differentiated learning is also known as differentiation instruction or multi-level instruction. Different approach to learning are teacher response to students need guide by a number of general principles such as assignment that take into account student needs and interests, flexible grouping and continuous assessment. Teacher can differentiate content 
process and product based on student readiness, interest and profile towards a variety of teaching and management strategies. Next is after online distance learning. A. Application of e-learning. E-learning means electronic learning. It is a system of learning based on formal teaching but with the help of electronic resources. Although teaching can be done in or out of the classroom, the use of computer and the internet is a key component of learning. The method utilizes full support towards the internet connection to it. Promote knowledge, transfer, and is one of the student centered interacted learning. B. Video conferencing. Distance education often use video conferencing to educate students. To this end, high quality video conferencing software such as Google Meet is used, and this ensures that your communication is perfect and arrange the student and teacher experience. Therefore, video conferencing in this in this state education play an important role. Google Meet also helps students and faculty communicate with one another. C. Open online course schedule. Students are given a lot of freedom with open online courses. Therefore, into the Escorners learning category, where students are given textbook, email, and internet-based bulletin board to complete their coursework. Students are initially given a deadline to complete their work and are allowed to work at their own pace. The first advantage of online study is students can study whenever and wherever they want. Exhaustion and fatigue are expected when you need to sit in the classroom quietly for a 2 until 3 hours straight. Therefore, students can lose some of the important message in class. The ODL actually helps students to be more focused in their class. This is because students can get up and stretching while listening to the class. Students can also find a comfortable place to study so they can be at their best performance. The second benefit of online distance learning is uh, students can study at their own pace. Uh, the prospect of going back to classroom can be quite intimidating for some students. This is because by asking a question, it can be revealing that they are unable to grasp a concept in class and be quite, it can be quite embarrassing for some students. Uh, therefore, the online distance learning actually gives the opportunity to the students, in, especially the introvert student, to ask a question to the lecturer without, uh, without post themselves. Um, and this can, and the ODA can actually uh, engage uh, students to uh, participate more active in the ODA. The third benefit of online distance learning is students can be exposed with the e-learning tools. The ODL actually can make students to present their work in class. When students trying to make a presentation, students will be exposed with the e-learning tools which can help them making their presentation to be more interesting. They will explore many different ways to make their presentation more better than their other's presentation while creatively incorporating entertainment value in their presentation which is the e-learning tools the advantage of online digital learning is internet connection zoom and google meet is one of the most popular application software that students use for their audio class this application software provided with a microphone function and camera function for, uh, for recorded voice and student faces. And despite with all of this component, student and lecturer must ensure that they have the strong and high speed internet connection before they use this application. Sometimes low 
speed internet connection may disrupt student and lecturer interaction and this situation can be very frustrating. Therefore, students need to find solutions of to find new places with a good connection to enter their ODI classes. And this thing can be very hard for certain people. The disadvantages of online distance learning is complicated technology. Over-dependence on technology can be a major drawback in distance learning, especially in online distance learning. This is because if any malfunction software or hardware can make an ongoing classes stand still can also, and also interrupting the learning process and if the student is not a major computer student, his learning experience will be bad. Conclusion As you can see, the ICT become more advanced and easy to use without any problem. Using the ODL as part of analyzing the process meaning and function of ICT in education. The use of ODL in education creates more reliable source of information and more knowledge. However, ODL also had a bad impact on education system. It will cause the effect on the student. Students may not be interested in the way teacher teach. They will more focus on the web such as Instagram or Twitter. It will influence their result in the class and it also change their behavior to the teacher in the school. The conclusion? Communication technology ICT help people in many ways. ICT help people easily communicate to others and make life more convenient. ICT or ODL can give both advantage and disadvantage education. We have to be more careful when using it, so people must be responsible while using the communication technology or ICT properly.